as well, different colors, different races. We were riding from, uh, we were directed to ride from across the whole nation, a coast, coast to coast ride to um, Washington, D.C., to the White House. And um, in my dream, I seen so many different flags and so many different staffs, and those are what represented each people, each nation, each tribe, each band. But um, in, in June of this year, June 25th, we plan to have a horse ride, and it's a horse nation, our, our people are horse nation. We really have a strong connection with the horse and the land and Mother Earth and the air we breathe and the water. And um, this ride, is that's what this ride is for, is for the water, the air we breathe, the Mother Earth, and our other relatives who don't have a voice to speak up for themselves is the animal nation. You know, so many things are, are happening to our water. It's being poisoned. There's fracking, there's oil, there's um, the coal, you know, all these negative things that are polluting Mother Earth, and that's what we're trying to change. But we need, we need to make that change as, as one nation, one voice. That's why we call it. We're, we're all brothers and sisters here in this room, no matter what color we are, the race we have. I think the, the natives, the Native American people are real beautiful people, and we just want to be accepted. You know, I want you to recognize our identity, who we are, what we believe in, what we stand for, our rights. You know, we all have a treaty with the U.S. government here in, in America, and it's been violated, just like my, my father said. We have um, so much injustice done to our Native people, and it's really, um, it's really, I'm really uh, happy that to see all these young people here. You know, the youth, these are why I'm doing this right. I'm a youth mentor. I work with the youth, and I... Um, they're the reason why I'm doing this because they're the seventh generation. Um, we're, we, if we don't speak up and help, help the um, young generation, they won't have no voice. They're not going to have no clean water, no clean air. But mainly to get back on the track is that we, we're doing this right as, as all, everyone's together as a nation, to bring our native people together because we have so many leaders all over and there's nothing that they're doing for our people. They're, they, they're learning to. Um, turn against our own people, you know, and every, in every community it's different, you know, we all have a story and we all have a treaty and we all have a story from our ancestors that we carry in some, in some way and then when I do these things, I do this as a, what I say, I'm a common man, I'm not somebody that's trying to get my name in the paper, I'm not somebody who's trying to get the spotlight or the camera or anything, my message is love and healing and peace and that we're all equal in this room. There's nobody higher or lower. We're all the same. It doesn't matter our skin. It doesn't matter the color we are. We're, we're related in some way. And there's a reason why we're all here together tonight in this room. And I want to thank all of you for coming and supporting and to take a chance to come out here tonight and to get involved and to break the ice. And it's about healing. And we want to we want to first remember what contact called Great Spirit or you know, God, Lord, you know, Jesus, whoever you choose to pray. Myself, I'm a traditional man, and I believe the spiritual way of life. But I believe both ways, too. There's no right or wrong way to pray, as long as that we're praying together. So, when, when, what we do is that the ancestors, we want to acknowledge the ancestors by honor, riding across the land for all the bloodshed that was happening in this, in this country. You know, the genocide, the massive land theft all the murders and um, the rapes and the things that happen to our people that and all this is going on is being passed on to generation to generation our people are starting to hit the women you know the women hit the man you know the, there's abuse there's so many things that our young people our young children are experiencing at a young age we have a lot of suicide we have a lot of of meth you know, drugs, alcohol, gangs that's what we're trying to wash away and wipe away because our people are stuck and we're trying to, we want America to wake up and recognize that this country we live in is about healing, it's about love, it's about peace. And that not only do we recognize, you know, we want, what I wanted to get to is that we're, it's, it's about everybody coming together. We want to have bicyclists that join the group, we want to have runners, walkers, riders, all of us to make this journey across the United States of America and to show America that we all can come together as one and that's what this country is waiting for they're waiting for something to happen we're waiting for you know if we don't step up now and and, and take leadership and take action then it's never going to happen 
they're going to do away with our borders, our land, our homeland. They're already doing it now. Our tribes are starting to disenroll each other because of blood quantum. You know, you're not enough native, you're not enough, you know, and now all of our tribes are different. Where some of them have casino tribes, some of us have, you know, leaders that are getting paid off. They're not doing the job that they're supposed to be doing for our people. And what I mean by that is, in my homeland in Pine Ridge, there's, there's a lot of injustice there. There's, there's, I see no hope. And I want, that's what we're giving people is hope. Our message is hope and love and that we need to come and we'll come together and reconcile because I don't want to see, I don't want to bury my young relatives no more. I've been to so many, you know, about two shoeboxes full of obituaries in my life from relatives taking their lives with suicide, drugs, alcohol, and then murder. A lot of things are, our people are hurting our own people is what I'm trying to say. We're keeping each other down when we need to come together and help and join. And